Here with me now from the Los Angeles Auto Show is Philip Brabeck, Vice President of Product Management at Audi of America. All right, Philip, what is Audi unveiling at the show? Well, we have another great LA Auto Show, I have to say. And uh, of course, we are unveiling uh, what's behind me, which is uh, on one side, the R8 V10 Plus Spider. Now, this is our ultimate supercar, the one that gets driven by Tony Stark, the Iron Man, of course. And, uh, you know, it's in an open air version. So it's not only, you know, that you can reach 203 miles per hour, but you can also open the top and uh, do it with, uh, you know, with the roof down. And, uh, and that, of course, is beautiful because you have that naturally aspirated V10 engine back there. And uh, listening to that is uh, second to none, really. So that's one car we have. Um, and then, of course, uh, for us, the big story is the new A8. Uh, and this is, of course, the car we're going to be launching in the second half of uh, next year. And uh, this is the all new technological flagship for us. So it really is all of all technologies that are going to be coming up. Yeah. And Philip, the A8 sedan also has a level three autonomous technology. Can you explain that? Yeah, so we have a number of things on the new A8, of course. And uh, one of the things uh, that we're uh, bringing is no less than 40 new driver assistance systems. Um, so, of course, because we have a variety of sensors um, inside the vehicle, and that includes, uh, you know, radars in the front, LiDAR system, uh, which is, which is laser-based. Um, uh, we have, obviously, ultrasonic sensors. So there's a number of sensors that can do unbelievable amount of things for you, uh, you know, sense uh, your environment. Um, you know, I'll make a small example. You know, when you go into a garage, for example, um, you know, you will no longer be scratching or hitting anything because uh, we now are able to eliminate that essentially with our sensors and they can help your steering or they can help you avoid uh, certain collisions. So uh, that's just one little example, you know, right. we have a piloted parking feature um, which you'll be able to control with, uh, with a smartphone. And then, of course, as you mentioned, level three. So this car has been engineered to um, uh, have a level three uh, piloted uh, driving. But I think, you know, level two, level three, I think for us, the most important thing really is that uh, it will introduce the absolute cutting edge of all the driver assistance that we have in the market. And uh, it will be absolutely class leading at the time when we introduce it. All right. Now, lawmakers here in the U.S. are getting closer to tax reform. Of course, that would help many consumers, what would it mean for Audi? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, you know, it, as typically what we do is when it, wherever we do business, and of course in this case here in the U.S. market, is we will obviously adopt to the business environment that is uh, there at, at the time. Uh, we have done that until now and we will continue to do that. So I think one of the aspects uh, of the tax reform has to do with electric cars. Um, and, you know, we obviously are strong supporters of electric vehicles. Um, we have uh, a number of electric vehicles in development at the moment um, uh, that we will be launching in the next uh, 18 to 24 months. Um, so that's one, that's one aspect um, that we are watching very closely. But again, what we're going to do is we're always going to adapt to the uh, business environment that's around us and uh, we're going to continue to push forward. All right, Philip Brabeck from Audi of America. Thank you very much for joining us from the LA Auto Show. My pleasure. Thank you for having us.